Hey Leos, welcome to your reading. If you are new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Let's see here what we have going on for Leos. I'll leave information about what decks of cards I use in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings. Okay, let's see. Akasha, Serena and Rosetta. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life missions. I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching or parenting children. Okay, I often tell people, they'll ask me, you know, what's my life purpose? What's my life purpose? And I'll tell them, your life purpose can change throughout your life. At points, it is to be parenting your children, right? Um, and it's maybe to be a teacher and parent in maybe other people's children. There's all kinds of teachers that are in the world. But um, here, I'm just giving you an example. What's this that's reversed? The Six of Swords. So you might be feeling stuck and unable to move forward at the moment. Um, maybe because you're questioning, how will I get this money? Or how will this come to fruition? And it's telling you, look, God's going to help you here. So um, don't worry about the when how where's just know it's going to happen okay and that positive energy will come in here so that you're able to do your life purpose and your spiritual gift here so you may be thinking negatively because swords are about thoughts sorry for knocking the camera there swords are about thoughts so or speech and you know maybe you're not thinking as positively and because there's been delays in moving forward or even in travel here yeah, Seven of Pentacles, um, you've been waiting for a change, something to happen or maybe even some money here um, because it mentions money and this is Pentacles, right? Um, so it's like you've been putting in this hard work, maybe it's even into a relationship, into a love connection or a friendship. Um, you know, you've been digging, you've been doing the work, you've been tending your garden there with the Seven of Pentacles and nothing's come of it yet. Um, so you may be starting to think negatively, why hasn't this started to move yet? Why am I still waiting? Okay, let's see here. That's a lot, but we're going to look. Judgment, Death, The Wheel, Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords. Okay, Leos, this, this bloody Scorpio wants things to turn around. <laughs> Um, you may have two options at the moment. One of them definitely seems to be from somebody from your past wanting a second chance. I joke, uh, Scorpio, but it is here. Queen of Cups, um, the Death card, and you having options or this person being confused about who they want, right? So this can be they have two people in their life or they have somebody and want you right with this knight of swords energy it's like coming to terms with you know this is your own choice could be an air sign um you know it can be any sign i just said scorpio um because this leo scorpio thing has been going on forever right <laughs> since eternity um but here yeah they may have options and it's like they truly want you but they're confused, they're lying to themselves. This person may return during the retrograde here. It does seem like they're thinking about you a lot or what actually happened with you here. They're getting in their feels with it being cancer season, but it seems they have another option. Um, if not another option, it may be that they're dreaming about you and still confused about why things ended and you know why the way in here. Um, confused with how will this person get back into my life? Why can't I move forward with this person? When will things turn around? They're usually the things that cause blockages. We need to start thinking positively. If it's you, Leo, who's actually thinking these things, I mean, I can only give the message to the viewer, right? Um, but this is somebody, you know, you've been waiting for a long time now, swiftly coming towards you. 
it might be more confusing that they've come back now because, you know, maybe for a period of time you waited for them and nothing happened with the Six of Swords reversed. So you're asking, why are you back now? Why are you rushing back now? Especially seen as you have somebody else with the Seven of Cups there. Um, maybe they come in to help you with this money or whatever the situation you need. Maybe you just need information. That could be the abundance for you you know, in order to help you forward. So they may come forward with information that helps you take this seven of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, right? Um, I do believe this person cares about you and wants to see um, your life going good. Um, it just may be that they've, they're sort of in a relationship, I feel like half in, half out or something. In a relationship, staying for safety, but thinking of you, and this retrograde is really going to be an emotional one. So their emotions might prompt them to do this Knight of Swords action here. Come rushing towards you. Yeah, in hopes to turn things around. In hopes for a rebirth here. A transformation of the current situation. It was all about waiting on divine timing. And they sort of seem pushed to their limit right now. Um, with the judgment card there. It's like they're hearing calls or these signs or something. Um, maybe from above they're seeing signs about you. But it definitely seems like this energy is directed towards you, Leo. Let's see. There's a lot of transitioning things going on right now and they you know, eclipses and all the solar eclipses and lunar eclipses we've had. So I feel like this person has really been through these ups and downs of emotion and gone through transformations. So it could even be like one day they feel like, yeah, I'm completely over them. And then the next day they completely love you. And they don't understand quite what's going on with themselves. They're confused as well. Like, why can't I get over this person? Why am I drawn to this person? And it kind of you know, it's a soulmate connection because of this red string that we see in the Wheel of Fortune. And, you know, you both had to experience this to grow in life, um, to bring about transformation and spiritual awakenings here. The Tower. Let me show you what I wrote down for Leo. The Tower. Right? Right? I don't know why I was feeling this energy for you guys. Um, and I made um, a side note to it. It was reality finds you. So it's like somebody's coming to find you here. Because I didn't know what the reading was going to be. Right? I just make the notes, sort of free writing, before I start the readings. And as you've seen, Leo's, I wrote in huge writing, The Tower. And here it is. I feel like it's quite a shock that this person turns around now and comes your way. Because it seems a very long time with the Seven of Pentacles. Right? So reality finds you. That's what I mean. When I make the notes, I'm free writing so I don't know where it fits in, I just remembered when I wrote the tower. So, when I seen the tower, sorry. Um, so yeah, you've got a lot of major arcana here. Um, major shifts, major changes coming in. Surprising changes. Reality checks. And somebody coming to find you. Can I tell you what that means for each individual person? No. Um, so yeah, Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, you go, you're going to go through a breakup. Um, for others of you, you've experienced this growth and, you know, a feeling good and ready to take on life. You just feel maybe stuck moving forward and it's probably because this person's energy is rushing towards you now. You're looking good, Leos. You're looking good in this Nine of Pentacles. Good luck. <laughs>